Well, how do that, chums? Does I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, for you guys in the Viewerverse, I'm playing No Man's Sky. I say for you guys in the Viewerverse, obviously I'm playing it for me, but I'm trying to entertain you. Yes. So anyways, um, I'm back on board my freighter. Let's make this a little bit bigger on screen. You've come here to see a game rather than me drinking a cup of tea. Talking of which, yes, it's a Captain Steve's brew. My own breed of tea. It's very nice. Ooh, yummy, yummy, yummy. Right, anyway, um, we've got fr frigates to debrief. There we go. Let's head on over. Let's see if any have leveled up. Because, yes, I've got some C classes. One has already made it up to a B class in the last episode. So let's go into here. Let's do the mind meld. Oh, we've got a, a psychonic egg. Nice. Nitrogen salt, activated idiom, activated emerald, enriched carbon, fermatic condescent, storage augmentation. Very cool. Granite. We've got all sorts going on there. Yes, lovely jobs. So, the main thing being the activated idiom or em emerald, I can use that for portals. Heck yes. Very nice. Right, anyway, let's go and send out some more missions. So, I'm going to select a mission that's maybe an hour to two hours long, and then hopefully by the end of this um, video, hopefully uh, we can um, debrief them again. Right, so let's. Uh, oh, great. They're all two hours. Oh, there's one. Two, two hours, ten, but it's only a one star. Oh, this one's two hours and it's two star. Let's do that one. Okay, I think the stars might help in leveling things up a little bit quicker. As you can see here, we've got two C classes and one B class, and they're the new piratey type of ones. Anyway, this was a mining expedition. Oh no, it wasn't it? It was trade, wasn't it? So I need to put in some trade, trade vessels. Let's have a look for some trade vessels. Okay, so we've got one there that's got a 40 in it. No, 45. There we go. We'll slap that in there. And that should do the trick. There we go. Five stars. Chicka pow pow, chicka boom boom. So that's now out for t two hours, 20 minutes. But yeah, you know, I'll be reconvening with you guys as and when that happens. But for now, let's jump over to the console and let's jump to another area of space. I've got to learn a few more words of the Viking, Gek, and Corvax because they've added some new words in. And I also want to uh, learn some autophage words. So we go to a Viking system again. We was at a Viking system yesterday and we still haven't learnt all the Viking words. So I'm going to jump on over to this system, see if we can find ourselves a semi-decent planet and start learning lingo of the Viking, but not only the Viking, but the autophages. Okay, well I've arrived located in that new system. I'm just going to hit on upper system scan just to see if there's anything nice in this system. Ah, fungal world, solarium. Copper, shell strewn. We've got this guy. Oh, star planet. Oh, it's a star bulb and it's a tropical planet. No, that could be all right. What we've got there, viridescent as well. And a frost crystal. Well, so we've got two lush planets in this system. So I suppose we could try either or of them. But you know what? I'm just going to fly on over to the station very quickly. And I'm going to see what modules are there for my multi-tool. Because yes, we've been doing up a multi-tool at the same time, which is this one here. As you can see, it's looking quite swanky, looking quite lovely, looking quite nice, that, isn't it? Now, somebody said that, although that locates them, it doesn't make them appear. Well, I was finding that it did make them appear. I don't think there's another technology inside of here to install, so it seems to be doing it all under the one module at the moment for me. Don't know why. Right, anyway, let's go on over to the Stazione. OK, John's when I'm at the multi-tool vendor. Hello there, multi tool man. How are you? Yes. Could be up. Purchase much wells. Have you got a scanner in an S class? You do. And the mining beam. What the fudge? Yesterday I found the neutron cannon and the scatter blast, my favourite weapons. And today, just by sheer chance, I found the other two modules that I said I wanted in my last episode. This is uncannily freaking lucky. I never have this sort of luck, people inside the viewerverse. Never. Okay, let's put that there. Let's pop over here. Let's go get the other one. Where'd the other one go? Where'd it go? It was, it was there one second. There it is. Okay, cool. There we are. Stick that there. Lovely. So I'm going to do a couple of reloads, buy a few more like I did yesterday, and get this fully upgraded, people. I'll see you after I've done that another two times. Okay, jump. So yes, I jumped in my ship, out of my ship, 
and then reloaded that auto save that it just created and then you go speak to the vendor and he's replenished his stock that's basically what i was doing sorry i didn't explain that momentarily ago i did it in the first episode of all of this but um, you know i might put this into a playlist i might not i'm i think i might okay let's head on over to this guy so yeah that's episode one essentially right there we go let's purchase modules down here grab that grab that and that should be the last time that I do that. That goes over here. Let's get the mining beam one. And we'll chuck that in there. Pow! And then we just need to go over here, get the scanner one. And we'll stick that one there. Boom! There we go. My scanner range is pretty darn gnarly. And yes, I put one on a boosted slot, this one. So there we go. Look at that. That's awesome. It's going to boost the fauna analysis by 9.7% approximately. Pretty darn nice. So we're going to get quite good rewards when you're using this multi-tool. This is still in normal mode at the moment, not in creative. So yes, I did have to spend my nanites upon that. Just noticed I'm wearing a green t-shirt, so you might be able to see the background between there. I might have to go and get that changed in a moment when we get to another decent stopping point when I go to edit. Let's head on up here. Let's go talk to these entities up here then. There's quite a lot of callbacks up here for a freaking Viking system, but we're going to learn all these words anyway. So I've learned here, so you can see that it now says visited. So if he moves around, I know not to talk to him again. Hello there, chappy. Yep, prophetic coward. All right, that's uh, no way to introduce Steve. There we go. Let's talk to this guy then. So there we go. I'm just going to go around. I'm going to learn all these words, people. I'm also going to go change my t shirt. Yeah, until I'll see you in a minute. I'm also going to drink some tea. Heck yes. Okay, jumps well, I've changed my t-shirt, and now I'm heading off, because I've spoken to all those individuals, I've learned all their lingos, and let's fly on down to a planet. Thank you, yes. I've also had a little bit of tea, but I could do it some more. Right, we're going to go to this lovely star brambly type world. Yeah, let's go touch down over here, let's go see if we can hit up some knowledge stones, and let's go and see if we can talk to some autophages, and rather than do a quicksilver mission, I think I want to up my standing with the autophages, so I might have to do a couple of autophage missions. So we'll see how we get on with that, shall we? Talking of which, we might as well find ourselves a autophage camp to land at. So let's do that then. No, I want to use it. Did I use it? I think I did. I hope I did. It's doing something. There we go. Remote signal detected. Okay, where is it then? Oh, it's over this way. And over there, not too far to go. Yes, yeah, so there's quite a lot of places that actually spawn in autophages, and it looks like it's still 20 seconds away, so I'm just going to pass up, up into the air like so. Boom. Spin it around like that. Lock on. And zoom on over there. Thank you. Yes. Lovely jobs. And then I'll be bringing up the autophage camp in a second, people. Meow. This looks like quite a gnarly planet, doesn't it? pretty darn nice nice little find it's not too hilly but it's not quite flat which is good i like a little bit of variance in the old terrain okay let's uh, touch them down there then let's go see these autophage Kapow! hopefully i haven't landed on one i know yeah because they're invisible they're invisible right now people there we go and boom just do a scan and there they are hello autophages okay there's, there's only did I find all of them? There's only like two here. Right, okay, fine. Hello, mate. How are you? Cool, I like his shoulder-mounted cannon. Right, let's practice some language, first of all. Oh, I sold a load of the stuff that they like as gifts. There we go. And autophage symbol. Sweet. Now, there's, apparently there's 600-odd words to be learnt by these guys. So that's quite a lot of words. Oh, look, I just scanned again and a couple of more appeared. All right, fine. And there's their terminal there. Hello, Chappie. How are you? Cool. Let's um, practice language. Request dialect help. Why not? And I'm just going to learn all their words first. And then I'm going to go around and see what missions I can get from these guys as well. Okay, people? So I'm going to do it in, in stages. So, yeah, I won't be a moment. And I'll, I'll be right back with you after I've learned a few of their words, people. This one looks like Bumblebee, doesn't he? Isn't he cool? I like him. Okay, right, let's, uh, let's uh, get some dialogue help from this guy. And, um, <clears throat> you know what? 
I might as well look at what mission this guy's got. Hello, Bumblebee. What the? <laughs> Offer assistance. There we go. Let's have a quick look. Kill eight sentinels. Yes, don't mind if I do. I need to test this new multi-tool. Is there any others with kill sentinel missions? Let's have a quick look, see if there is or isn't. Offer assistance. And this one is collect chromatic metal, 340 of it. I think I might have that, so I might be able to do that one anyway. Let's have a little chat with this guy. What missions do you have? Do you have kill sentinels? This one has salvage starship components. Don't really want to do that because I haven't really got a ship to scrap. Okay, that's, um, I mean, I could buy one, but that's a lot of messing about just to do a mission, isn't it? Hello, buddy. Um, offer assistance. What would you like? Collect rusted metal. Uh, I haven't got a rusted metal farm anymore, or else that would have been really easy. Okay, I'm not going to do that one. Okay, offer assistance. In fact, I ought to set up a rusted metal farm. Yes, that could be an idea, because I've seen a lot of these autophages ask for rusted metal. Hello, mate. Um, I, I don't know whether I've asked you about missions. Let's see what he's got. Salvage starship components. Yes, that's probably the one I spoke to. All right, well, I think we're about done inside of here. So we've got to kill some sentinels, and we've got to hand in some chromatic metal. Well, it looks like I might already have the chromatic metal. Hello there, buddy. And um, yes, hand in the chromatic metal. There we go. Handed that in. Got some void modes. That's now put up my standing with the autophage. Heck yes. Right, let's have a look under the log. And let's see if I've got any others there. Chromatic Forge. Let's uh, see if we can hand this one in too. Yes, I can. There we go. You're right, buddy. And give him that. Lovely. Now, what is my standing currently with the autophages? Let's go and have a look. Autophage, missions completed 9 of 12. Uh, right, okay, fine. So I guess we're going to have to do a quite a lot more of these. I've got to kill those blinking sentinels. Uh, autophage, salvage. Okay, I, I guess I'm going to have to do some of those ship scrappings, I guess. I mean, what is this one? Through the finalization of their bodies, units received autophages, la la la. Components associated with neuroelectronics. Distant words, okay, I'm not too sure what they're asking me to do with that one. It doesn't overly say, does it? Within the multi-tool infantry. Right, it doesn't really say what I'm supposed to do with that one. Okay, shards harvested. Well, I've, I've given shards to them before. Does that count? So if I go into here... No, I, I've got to do their missions for now. Right, we've got to find some sentinels to ha off. Okay, people, I'll see if we can find some sentinels. Okay, well, I just hit up a knowledge stone, and it says that there's a sentinel near pro proximity. I can't see him because of this storm, so I'm just shooting stuff to attract him. There we go, we've got one. Um, I think I've got to kill nine of them. Let's try my neutron cannon. Pow! Ooh, that nearly killed him in one hit. Chicka pow! Chicka boom! Let's charge it all away. Chicka pow! No. Not a one hitter, but it's still bloody good. Sweet! Well, that's um, a couple of sentinels down, isn't it? We've got some nanites. Lovely, lovely. Come on, sentinels. Where are you? They should be... Oh, no. They haven't arrived yet. Just have another sip of tea in between murder. And here's a good cup of tea. All right, okay. Get rid of the spawner. Pow. Get rid of the healer. Pow. There was a healer healing the healer then. Did you see that? That's a bit sneaky. Pow! In the face! Ah, yeah, you're done, mate. You're freaking done. Okay, uh, there we go. We've managed to get all of these done and blasted. Let's head on back then. Let's go hand in this mission. Lee, 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 lee. Switch. Cloaking device. Activate my cloaking device. Yeah. Sentinels won't be able to find me. Heck, no, they won't. However, my cloaking device is about to turn itself off. Mm -mm. Lovely, lovely. Oh, 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 what's going to happen first? Am I going to get redetected? I don't know whether I am. I think I'm going to be okay. Yes, there we go, deactivated. There you go, buddy. I just killed all those sentinels for you. Lovely, jabbly. And we ought to find ourselves another one of these phage camps and go and visit that one and do a little bit of another phage camp for people I think that's what we should do and yeah I need to find some more knowledge stones and there seems to be knowledge stones on this planet so it's all good right let's take one off 
Now what I want to do is just bring up this and I want to go find myself a trading post to land at. Let's fire up through the atmosphere and then we fly back down again and then I'll find the next autophage camp when we get to that uh, trading post. And you know what, I might walk to it, I know that sounds insane, but I might as well and hit up a load of knowledge stones. Saying that, look at the amount of water that's here. It could be a bit difficult. It depends on how far it is to walk. I'm not committing to that. It's not a promise. Heck no. Anyway, I'll see you when I get to the trading post, people. Well, I've landed quite perfectly. I don't know how I managed that, but I've landed on the freaking down ramp. What the actual fudge? And there's another reason why I wanted to come to a trading post. Trading posts also have NPCs here, and they're all by keen. So yes, I can talk to these guys and learn some words with these. Now, I've got an interest in theory, people. Okay, just hear me out for a second. Oh, no, I don't want you on my weapons terminal. Yeah, I've already got a decent weapons terminal guy called Gar. I've made a good relationship with him. He's awesome. Anyways, I've got this interest in theory. This is speculation time, people. A lot of these words that we're learning, when you go into request dialogue, you can choose like trade symbol, mystery symbol, whatever symbol, yeah? But if you go in and you choose one, say like mystery, you've got to apply. I'm wondering whether if you get all these new words that they've added in, whether it's going to give us a hint at what the new story might contain. I mean, considering these guys have actually got to say it and we've got to understand it, it makes sense, doesn't it? And I've noticed they've put in a heck of a lot more trade words. So, yeah, makes you wonder. And look, got enter there. If, it, if, if they say void or glass or realm, then I'm going to start getting fairly excited. You know what? I might have to reach out to my data mining mates and say... What new words have they added in for each of these new races? I, in fact, I might go check the wiki. It might have already been updated. But yeah, I'm hitting up the mystery symbols just to see what it says about. I haven't seen glass and I haven't seen void yet, people. But as I'm learning the words, if I see one that comes up that makes me go, oh, really? Then, yeah, that, that, um, uh, that, that I'll bring to your attention, people in the view of us. Heck, yes, I will. Right, anyway, let's uh, go on over to the old multi tour and let's uh, pop another camp. So I've got to charge that up by putting some Alantiums in. What the fudge? Why did it only go to. There you are. Charge up 100% the first time, mate. Freaking what? Okay, there we go. Let's scan the cake. Now, if it's in close proximity, I will walk. If it's like half an hour away, sod walking. Okay, and it's across the sea. It's across the freaking sea, people. It's, it's bloody miles away. Look at it. Oh, I'm on a bloody ladder, people. Yeah, right. Let's um. So, okay, right, fine. Uh, I think that's going to be far too far. Yeah, 21 hours to walk there. That's not going to happen. Right, well, we're going to fly there then. And hopefully we might see some knowledge stones around there. But, you know, this is kind of what I'm going to do. Hit the stations, hit the trading post. Hopefully we're going to learn these words fairly quick. Again, we'll have arrived, Decatur, at this next Sentinel Fage camp. Let's go stand right in the middle before we scan this time, people. Let's stand right about here. Chapa! There we go. And that's a bit better, isn't it? Brought them into iteration. It's brought some of them into iteration. I don't see an actual camp like a tent. Scan is recharging. Uh, we'll we'll hit it again in a second. We'll see if we have some more up here. We'll face this way. Chapa! Hmm, still no... Oh, look, there's a tent that's half appeared now. Okay, cool. Well, we'll go speak to this guy. Hello, matey. How are you? Right, and it's the same drill. I'm going to be learning freaking words, people. So we're going to practice language. Nice. Request dialect help. Mystery symbol. Why the fudge not? Like yes. Well, that's not really a mystery, is it? But anyway, let's go over here. Hello, buddy. How are you? And yeah, this is exactly the same as what I did at the previous camp. Oh look, he's just offered me up a mission because I hit mission. We can we can probably do paraffinium. We'll hit start mission then. Okay, so we've got to do paraffinium. Ah, uh, now I won't be able to do his dialogue to help. Okay, well, let's talk to this guy. Hello there. I pressed the buttons too fast there, people. So you have to go to this one first. Learn the word. Yes. Boom. Sweet. Let's see what other missions I've got. Hello, buddy. There's only three here for some reason. Offer assistance. Let's see what he needs. Repair lost autophage. Okay. Autophage times two. Okay, cool. Nice. And I'm not too sure which one gave me the mission and which one didn't now. Yeah, that's the paraffinium. 
Oh, for resistance. Salvage starship components. I'm going to try something with this one. I'm going to try something a bit weird, see if we can get it to work. Righto. Okay, so... Dun, 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 dun. Let's go into here. Let's go into difficulty. Let's put that to creative for a second. And let's see if it recognises... Uh, let's see if we talk to him now. Whether we, it, it, whether we can do it. Yeah, there we go. So instead of scrapping the ship... Just put it in creative mode and it thinks you've got all the freaking resources you need. Same with these, to be honest. You know, just bang. And I'm learning loads of autophage words. Does it pop up with the words that I've learned? I don't know whether it does or doesn't. It just says that you've learned some words, but it doesn't tell you which words you've learned. Okay, interesting. And there we are. Oh, no. Abandoned mission. Repair lost autophage. Well, how do we do this one, then? Ah, we've got to go to another planet, have we? Okay, fine. Let's go into the old log, then. And let's go do that one. Uh, rest restoration planet. I guess we're doing that one. Sweet. Maybe this is the repairing one. Lost autophage. Found and report. Re okay, fine. Where's the? Where is that location then? All the way over somewhere. I don't see a freaking icon. What the? What the fudge am I supposed to do? Okay. So we go. Planet Ison Zayafov system. Ison Zayafov system. I, I, I'm in that system. Okay, re let me read this freaking properly and I'll come back to you people. Okay, it's popped an actual icon. It's over there. It's off planet. It might send me to another camp. We will go and see people inside the viewerverse. Exactly what's going on over there. I'm just going to leave it in creative mode for now, and you know, hopefully I can just hand in resources left, right, and centre. You know, all willy nilly like. Right, let's fly on over then. Oh, great! It's this way. I'm going to do a 360 in it. There we go. Right, two hours to get there. Oh, well, we cut down that travel time. And hyperfrost. Meow. Yeah, it's definitely on another planet. I'll see you when I get there. Well, I've landed at the approximate Lacetian, and now I've got to dial in using my sweep scanner of where they might be. 187 views this way, apparently, people. Let's head on over yonder hill, then. Uh, we're pretty much on them. We're fairly close, anyway. Um, right, let's do a running leap and jump. There we are. And we're here. Okay, so somewhere around here. Right. Doesn't look... Oh, there we go. This is where they're going to be. They're going to be loitering around here, people. Okay, we, they're not here right now, so we do magic. Boom! There we go. Now they've appeared to get it. Oh, let's do a little salvage on this then. A little recce. Sodium, chromatic metal. And there we are. You're fixed, my friend. Pockets of sentience left behind. Yes, give it some Atlantium. Sweet. Well, there we go. Nice. Let's go speak to this guy. Oh, he's pretty darn gnarly, isn't he? And why is it not? Let me, let me talk to him. There we go. And we can learn all the words here as well. Practice language. Nice one. Press dialogue help. Cool. So I'm just going to do this now. And I'm going to be probably picking up their missions. I'll let you know what missions I get, people. Okay, peeps. Well, since um, you know, I've got it in creative mode, I'm just offering assistance to these guys. And a lot of the time, I can just hit start mission. Wait a second or two. Well, we'll go speak to him and uh, hand in the metal. There you go. Done. Pretty sweet. So done that already. And then I can just go down and I can do that one. Give him some Atlantium. And I can do this as many times as I like in creative mode. So really up my autophage sort of standing. Um, but yeah, there we go. Let's, uh, let's do practice language. Now you can only learn one word though. So I'm just going around and doing this. I might as well just leave it in... In creative mode, um, you know, because I've done quite a few of these autophage missions. It's getting to the point where I'm not overly finding the autophage missions fun anymore because they are kind of pretty repetitive. So, yeah, I'm just leaving it all in um, creative mode. A lot of the time they're fetch quests. A lot of the time they're fetch quests. The ones I am enjoying is still blowing up the Sentinels. 
So I'm still going to do that one, and I'll put it back into normal mode for that one, people. Well, there we go. Let's um, let's offer assistance. Let's see what he wants. Craft four times microprocessors. You know, I could just go grab those from a galactic trade terminal at the end of the day. Okay, it should register that I've got them in a second. Oh no, look, it's saying that I need to craft them. Let's just craft two more. There you go. And uh, let's go and give him those then. Swin, there you are. Have your microprocessors. Nice. Did I learn the word from this guy? I'm not too sure whether I did or didn't. Let's go in there. Let's just double check. Yes, I did. All right, cool. Right, let's go to the next one. Oh, I've already visited him. Cool. What about this guy? I haven't visited him yet. Let's do this guy sitting down. But I think you get the idea. Okay, we've got Void Eyes as an actual thing. Um, that's interesting, isn't it? Void Eyes. Okay, so the Realm of Glass and the Void, I'm wondering whether they might be different places. I get quite a lot of these warning messages appearing throughout the game as well. I get them on derelict freighters and on some of the abandoned planets. In fact, I did a whole video on Is This a Warning? I'll put it up there. I'll take a little watch, because if you like speculation, I think you're going to love that. Okay, right, well, we better head back to my shippity ship. And then we're flying back on over to that previous mission giver to say that we've fixed the autophage. So, yeah, let's go do that then. Sweet. Hold on. Why is it saying for chromatic metal? We should be doing this one here. There we are. Check up out. And let's go back and see that chap. Check up out. Take one off. Let's go fly on over and go see him. Now, it was quite a distance away. It was on another blinking planet. Let's go then. Let's go. I'll see you back at the actual mission giver, people. Okay, well, that's flying in. It looks like they've all gone back into hiding. Okay, let's um, jump out. Let's see if they appear. But yeah, they're <laughs> finished. But look, you can still see the marker. So we know roughly where he is. I wonder if you can still talk to him. No, I don't think you can. There you go. He's appeared. There you go, matey. I fixed your autophage buddy. There you go. That's a bit weird. I've got another mission there that seems to be a little bit just out of it. I'll just hit abandon mission on that one. Because, yeah, I don't know why I need that one. Okay, cool. There we are. Done. And that's pretty much that, to be honest, isn't it, people? I've done quite a lot of autophagy stuff. And I've learned some more Viking words. There are some knowledge stones here, but they're a little bit spread out. They're a little bit sparse. There's a couple around me, but they're not, like, in throwing distance of a stone, you know? 200 U's or whatever. 139 U's. I mean, I could go hit that one up, but why? You know, I might as well just do it at stations and at trading posts, people, each episode. But, yeah, not a lot of time has passed doing this. So I need to wait probably about another an hour and a half or so before I can debrief my actual frigate commander so I'll be back f back doing that in a moment people but for now I'm gonna go make myself another fresh brew because I'm out of fuel people I guess I am you yeah, know so I'm gonna go and get some more fuel in my mug so yeah thank you very much for joining us so far but I'll be back in a moment once I've uh, got my mug refilled and uh, had some brekkie yeah i need to go get some toast or something yeah all right anyway i'll see you in a bit people welcome back there chums for you guys and the viewer verse this has been but a second for me and it's been the hours past to debrief my frigate commanders so let's get into this and let's do it shall we people i guess right here we go frigate command online Debrief Commander. Hello there, my friend. Okay, let's see what we get this time. Lovely jubbly. Mango gold. Chromatic metal. 500. Perfect for handing into those autophages if I wasn't in creative mode. Yeah, and we could do with making a rusted metal farm. But, um, yeah. Yeah, could do. Anyhow, let's uh, head on off. I could make a rusted metal farm just... Just because. I could, couldn't I? I could make a rusted metal farm. Maybe I'll do that in my own time and then reconvene and show you guys what I make, but... I did have a rusted metal farm. It was an R2-D2 one. It went all weird. It went all funny. Yes, yeah, so it was inside my hub zone. So I know a perfect planet to make one on. I might have to do that. Anyway, people, so we've now gone and um, debriefed. Let's have a look, see if there's any missions that I can hit up that are a little bit longer with this chappy over here. Okay, view potential expeditiones. Is there one that's, there's one that's five hours long? Oh, there's a six hour long one there. Let's make this a bit bigger on the screen for you guys. So here we go. Check out. 
So I'm hitting up this one. So it's six hours, 59 minutes, so a good seven hours. And uh, yeah, let's, let's pick some ships to stick onto this one then. There we are. Bow. And we want... Oh, look, they haven't gone up a level. They haven't gone up a level yet, people. Okay, and we'd be putting on... Which mission is this? Is it combat? We're putting an exploration... And I think there was just an all-round one, wasn't it? So we'd use a support vessel, I think. Uh, let's use that one. Pow! There we go. And we've got a five-star. So there we are. Let's send that out then. Cool. Awesome. And that's that, pretty much, people. So yeah, I will be back learning more words. We'll probably keep doing Viking until we exhaust all the Viking words. And you guys in the viewerverse know how many new Viking words there are. I didn't come across anything that might be a hint at what we might see inside of the new game, more new updates when it comes to lore and story. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully we might see the odd word that might make us go, hmm. So anyway, people, take care. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.